NASA tests air quality twice a day from space using its satellites. But recently, the NASA SART mission flew at just 1,000 feet off the ground, lower than most aircraft, to gather and measure the pollutant and gases in the air we breathe. So we are flying at 1,000 feet, which is much lower than most aircraft fly. Um, but yeah, we're in what we call the boundary layer, which is the layer of the atmosphere that's actually connected to the surface. NASA's SARP research project has been collecting samples of air to study pollutants and greenhouse gases. We're also measuring the ingredients that make ozone. So ozone is not emitted. It's made from sunlight, nitrogen oxides, and hydrocarbons, and we're measuring all of those things at the same time. So we can understand not only how much ozone there is, but where it's coming from. A lot of instruments here, let's just get right to it. Mm -hmm. um, what are we looking at here? Uh, all of the air is collected from sample probes that are underneath of the, the aircraft, and we pull that air in through tubes to the various instruments. Uh -huh. uh, these two in the front, these are Picaro gas analyzers, and they measure carbon dioxide, methane, and water, as well as carbon monoxide. So greenhouse gases and pollutant tracers. And then this is somewhat unique. This is a whole air sampler, and these are evacuated canisters. And as we fly, we fill the air with the, into the cans, and then um, we ship those back to a uh, lab at uh, UC Irvine, and they do analysis in the lab. So we have to swap this out every flight. Bad air quality is our largest environmental threat. The American Lung Association reports nearly 4 in 10 people live in places with unhealthy levels of air pollution, and 39% of people living in the U.S. still live in places with failing grades for unhealthy levels of ozone and particulate pollution. Baltimore has a lot of economic inequality, and sometimes that translates into air quality inequality. And so we need to uh, measure what's in the air so that we know how bad it is and then we can hand that information to other agencies like the EPA or Maryland Department of Environment and they can implement controls to improve the air quality. We see methane coming out of landfills, we've seen um, pollutions coming out of uh, power plants and out of the city. 